It's hard. I know. It's hard. All right. This is a nice variation. In fact, we'll all try this because this is a nice, really, um, this is a nice modification to do for your students that have wrist issues and that the flexion at the wrist is a little too intense in this pose. So I'm going to take two blocks up against the wall like at a 45 degree angle and then come on down. Now, this is going to feel a little weird. Slide your head all the way between your lovely hair, your lovely mm -hmm. head, all the way between the blocks and then bring your hands on the blocks and pause. And then from here, it's the same kind of setup that she does, that she's done before. <coughs> She'll go ahead and lift her hips up, finding the dual actions of the pelvis, rolling her inner thighs down as she lengthens her tailbones up towards her knees. Awesome. And her feet are staying nice and grounded. Well done. Now this is the kind of freaky part, okay? <laughs> Trust the blocks, push into the blocks, lift onto the top of your head. That's it, good. Hug your elbows in and stretch your chest to the wall. That's it, and then push down to lift up, push down to lift up, push down to lift up. Good, keep pushing into your feet a little bit more, take a breath. Stretch your arms as straight as you can, yes. And then curl your chin and come on down. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Did that help? Help the wrist? Yeah. Yes, good. All right, good. So that's one variation. Why don't we all give it a try? Oh.